Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is messages for the sign, for the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. We get messages from the 15th to the 17th of January. Okay. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to help it grow, please. And thank you. So we're going to get some messages for the water signs. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Weekend, 15th to the 17th of January. What can my water signs expect, Spirit, Pisces, and the universe of the white light? Come on, man. Damn. What can my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, expect? 15th to 17th of January. Please, Spirit, Pisces, and the universe of the white light. Thank you. Alright, so we have... What messages are coming out for my Scorpios, Cancers, and Pisces begin at the 15th to the 17th, okay? I knew the separation card wanted to come out. That's crazy. I knew it was going to fall out, okay? And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversation at the bottom of the deck. So we have let go, letting go of control issues. We have pay attention to the red flags, and we have separation. With heart-to-heart -heart conversation, unrequited love. Release your ex, yeah, and codependency. So, yeah, somebody here is wanting to come back. All right, so what I'm picking up for from um, the cards that are here, my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, somebody has let go of a situation that they felt was no longer serving them, or you have left you or your person. Okay, we'll just say you did water sign, but you can flip the roles if they need to be reversed when, because we all know that we don't go by you know, um, everything is read by energy. Okay, so the roles can be reversed and flipped. Take it how it resonates, please. Okay, so somebody here wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation because there was a separation here. Somebody, um, pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you, uh, letting go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally and situa and separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So you, so somebody, you've decided to step away from the situation of water sign. You were your person because, you know, there was just too many red flags. There was just too much, you know, going on. This person was getting too much, too many signs about needing to walk away from a situation and letting go of control of a situation, letting go of the outcome. Somebody is, they just don't care. They're just separating themselves from a situation. Now somebody wants to come in with a heart, heart heart to heart conversation here but I don't feel like it's going to get anywhere because there's like with the unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going I feel like uh yeah somebody and then release your exes the time has come to clear your energy yeah codependent addictions are affected yeah because this is a codependent toxic relationship that needed to be let go of with the red sign but someone here feels this is a true love here they want to renew the rela relationship or somebody could be looking to new love here. True love. They're calling someone new in. Somebody that they can get married to. Have lot higher levels of, of commitment with. Somebody that they feel is truly the one for them. They do not want to be with anyone they don't feel is fit for them. So it's either you or your person is just moving on. Somebody's going to come in with a reconciliation here. or try to. But I just don't see it going anywhere. I just don't feel it's going anywhere. Let's clarify for my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, for the weekend of the 15th to the 17th, Spirit Guides, Angels, Universe of the White Light. Please give me the messages I need to see for my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, for the weekend of the 15th to the 17th of January, please, Spirit Guides, Angels, Universe of the White Light. Thank you. Messages for my water signs. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, 15th to the 17th. Let's see. Yeah, separation is here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, yeah. 
something is over completely like completely okay sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure future yeah somebody's sad focus on self work yeah somebody pulled away and start working on their self made healthy choices to move on and now somebody wants to communicate they want to rebuild the relationship they want to come forward and um make things happen but you're like no somebody here was like no it's just it's over it's just it's over Okay, let's see what messages come out. Yeah, heartbroken would have been the first card out. Somebody's heartbroken about the situation, about this. They feel like they missed out, feel like they fucked up. Hand of cards. Yeah, take a chance, risk being strategic, options not showing hand, and gambling. Okay. So that wants to come out in reverse. So it could be that somebody doesn't want to take a risk or a chance on this relationship anymore you're yeah, heartbroken at the bottom of the day. deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving and more somebody's really feeling at a loss here i like you okay someone likes you romance is booming fun flirty want to date okay soulmate soul connection partnership agreement um soul connect Okay, karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. We have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction, and the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So somebody is just deciding to work on them. They're realizing that this relationship is just not for them. It's karmic, it's to toxic, it's not working, and they no longer... Want to put in the effort to move this connection forward. Could be you or your person all the time. Take the shoe how it fits. Somebody's going to try to come in, love bombing, and oh, this, that, and the other. They're going to try to take a risk to try to, to mend the relationship with the healing card. They're going to tell you that, you know, they understand their wrongs. They just want to rebuild, but somebody here knows that this is a toxic relationship that they do not need to involve themselves in. Messages for my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For the weekend of the 15th to the 17th of January, please. For my water signs, 15th to the 17th, please. Spirit guys, the universe, give me a new moon message. For new moon and Capricorn message for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. For the weekend of the 15th to the 17th, please. What messages do we have for the Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Cancers over the weekend? Why are all these cards coming out like that? Okay. You're very close to achieving your goal at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to just take these because they came out like this. We have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Hold your vision. Believe in the impossible. We have meditate and contemplate. You and your loved ones are safe. And the energy is gaining momentum. So, um... Somebody here is fixed on their, their decision to just move on and let it go. They went to spirit with the balance, spirituality, and practicality. They're using their spirituality instead of just their heart and listening to the messages that are being given to them by spirit that it's time to move on. And they're moving on pretty quickly. They're taking off here. Well, you see the birds here gaining momentum. The energy is gaining momentum. Something is definitely just moving on. Somebody's meditated and contemplated on this for quite some time, and they could be dealing with a Pisces here, another water sign. But yes, yeah, somebody's definitely decided to just move on, and and they feel like you know that by moving forward and standing in their power, that that spirit will bless them with what it is that. They need a want because they can't stay stuck in this stagnant situation that is not working for them. This period. Okay. Let's get one of these. 
let's get one of these self-love oracle cards what messages do you have for the water sign 15 to the 7th of the January spirit for my Pisces Cancers and Scorpios 15 to the 17th of January please what messages do you have for the of the universe for my water signs 15 to the 17th of January please Something flipped over. Could have oh, these are in the wrong deck, too. What messages do you have for my water sign? We have the gift of freedom. Yeah, root chakra. Somebody's releasing themselves from a situation. Freeing themselves. Yeah, release, your, release to Mama Earth. Yeah. Loving themselves, putting themselves first. Focusing on them and knowing their worth. A card flipped over here. Yeah, ritual, sound, healing, throat chakra. Yeah. Somebody really needs to work on their ground, on their root chakra, grounding themselves. Root chakra is like finances and stability here. Okay, and sacral chakra, the gift of creativity. Yes, yeah, somebody is um, soul um, that's a nobility. Somebody is setting in their power and moving forward. They're not allowing anyone to come in and shake up anything in their lives that they feel is conducive to their growth here. Okay, what messages do you have for my water signs? Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio, 15th, 17th of January, period. Spirit, 15th, 17th of January. What messages do you have for my water signs? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, please. Damn, why this car is so slippery as fuck. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, please. What messages do you have for my water signs? Okay, 15th to the 17th. Yeah, Six of Swords. Somebody's moving on here. Messages for my water signs. We have the King of Cups. Could be dealing with it. Another Scorpion, the Knight of Pentacles. We have the moon and the page of cups. Messages for my water. Oh, messages for my water sign. Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio, from the 15th to the 17th. All right. Knight of cups at the bottom of the deck. We have the eight of cups, the queen of swords. The Temperance, the Five of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Tower, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. So, um, so we could be dealing with a, uh, uh, a Scorpion here, a Sagittarius. Okay. Or an earth sign. Not really too much air here. Okay. But yeah, somebody is um Somebody could be messaging you, sending you a message here with the Eight of Wands and the Page of Cups of an apology. They've been going back and forth on how to send this message. They keep writing it and rewriting it and writing it and rewriting it about how to come in here. You could be getting some money here, water signs, a surprise money coming in or something about a job here. A lot of pentacles here, so a lot of money. But somebody wants to heal the situation. They want to fight for you in the situation with the uh, temperance card here and the page of cups. They want to apologize. They want to reconcile. Somebody that you walked away from. Somebody has deep emotions for you here and they want to express these then they you may be they may be surprising you with the gift with money here somebody may be surprising you with money 
Okay, but with the Knight of Cups at the bottom and the Page of Cups, so somebody definitely wants to apologize here and make things right. And I was also picking up that there could be an ending to a, a marriage here, a divorce, because I see the Queen of Wands with the Queen of Swords. So you could be walking away from a relationship and going toward another. Okay, wanting to go toward another relationship here. Or somebody could just be wanting to take action towards someone. Okay, let's see for my water signs. Okay, 15th and 17th of January, Spirit God Angels Universe, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, 15th and 17th of January, please. Messages for my water signs, please. What does my water signs need to know from the 15th to the 17th of January, okay? Messages for my water signs. 15th to the 17th of January. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so we have Shine that came up. We have Healing. We have Life Purpose. And we have uh, Compassion. Sexuality. Let me see. look up something here because you guys have a lot of green energy here So, okay, somebody could be wanting to really express it because the color turquoise is about calming energy. So you're feeling very calm this weekend. Either you or this other person, um, water signs, they want to express themselves. They have a lot of compassion here. They want to heal the situation here. They really want to make things right. Okay, maybe they've had some kind of epiphany here. Messages for my water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the weekend, the weekend, 15th to the 17th spirit. Sexuality and shine. Yeah, you could be really shining because you're working on your spirituality. You're at peace with everything around you. Okay? You feel very calm. You're shining to those around you. Sexuality you could be very sexy here. Okay. That's just for my Cancer Scorpio Pisces weekend at 15th to 17th of January. Please, Spirit Guys, I'm just sure for messages for my water signs. Please, weekend 15th to the 17th. Let's see. Yeah, somebody could. Really be standing in their power. Your yeah, thinker came out for my water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, okay. So we have a change in the wind. Yeah, serendipity and higher power. 
Okay. Yeah, chat one time for that, but not for you. So somebody's come to the real realization that, you know, that things were kind of illusion with this Imagine card and that they need to move on. You may be getting a message or someone coming towards you about wanting to start over, but I don't feel you water signs want to here. I feel like you just want to stand in your power and your peace, your happiness, and just move on with your life with this Chotwood card. Time for that. You just don't want any further communication. You have chaos and conflict. You're chopping out the chaos and conflict, the car the toxic relationships. You're, you're healing yourself and you're moving forward. You're realizing the higher power is telling you to take a leap of faith towards something else. You need a change in the wind with the change card. You know what's best for you. And the angels are supporting you and surrounding you in this decision. So that's what messages I have for my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the weekend of the 15th to the 17th. Thank you for joining my channel. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to help my channel grow. Share it as well. Hit that post notification bell so when I upload, you'll be notified. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good weekend.